Until recently, pap smears were the best way to detect cervical cancer. Now a new, more sensitive test for the human papillomavirus is available. And for the first time, women who decline an internal examination can visit their doctor and do it themselves. You can do this in the privacy of the bathroom or behind the screen. It is important for women to understand that this isn't something you do at home. It's fast and it's painless, but it's not for everyone. The self-testing options aimed at women over 30 who are at least two years overdue for screening and who refuse a more thorough examination by their doctor. What it means is that if these women who may not ever have been screened screen just once, then they'll cut their risk by 40%. Pamela Hardy was diagnosed with cervical cancer at 33. She says early detection saved her life. It is definitely worth it for that small bit of discomfort, um, 100%. It is life-saving. Indigenous women, women from non-English speaking backgrounds, lesbians and people with disabilities are among those least likely to have traditional tests. And that's a big problem because the majority of cancer diagnoses happen in women who've either never been screened or are well overdue. It's probably about two thirds of women diagnosed with cancer in Australia are at least 18 months overdue for screening. Cervical cancer kills around 250 Australian women every year. Many of these deaths are preventable. We need programs like this to uh, demystify what it's all about to ensure that women do think, oh, look, you know, I've never been screened, but maybe now I can be. I'll go along and ask for it. Women over 25 should be screened every five years, regardless of whether they've been immunised against HPV. Nicole Chettle, ABC News.